find today is a uh, James from Thomaster Tank Engine. It's number five. It's uh, the version from Bachmann, which does not have a power tender. Some people have opinions about power tenders. I'm one of those. Um, I don't particularly like converting them, although I have done it on a Gordon um, from the same for the Hornby range. The Bachmanns have um, all the power train is inside the local. Now, that said, so this is the moving eyes version. Worth keeping in mind that we should test with DC that the local works. I've done it previously, but just for demonstration. It's just, it's as simple as just putting a nine volt battery and see if the wheels spin properly, which they do. I mean, they spin easily, there's no problem. Also, while, while we're at this point, think about oiling the local. I mean, you're doing um, a big conversion anyway, why not doing a bit of maintenance? So right. This is our, um, this is the subject of our film today. We, uh, we will start by taking off these two screws. cap goes off and uh, it reveals actually a pretty nifty feature. This is the first Bachmann, Bachmann local I'm, I'm modifying um, to DCC. It actually has a PCB with, let's look, one, two, three, four wires. So the rail and the motor actually are accessible from this point. It doesn't look like there's any reason to open the local. So all of the modification will have to be basically take off this PCB, disconnect it from the wires, plug in the DCC, and drop the good one. Let's see if it checks out like that. What I will do now is rather than desolder these wires, which might seem like the elegant solution, I will actually clip them. This way I'll have, let's say, a piece of the wire kind of still sticking out from the place in the motherboard where it was. Um, it's not useful for DCC in any way, it's just if I ever want to go back uh, a while back from now, I'll know exactly where each wire needs to go. I don't have to look for it. So, here it goes. So there it is, the DC board of James. Um, it's actually nicely labeled, motor minus one, motor plus, P, I guess, P, I don't know, track, should be a T, right? And uh, yeah, so let's um, put some solder on these wires and connect them to the controller. So this is pretty funny, but it could have ended badly. Um, turns out 
Bachman in the wisdom they're using red and black for the leads that go to the motor. I didn't quite ping on that at the beginning, but I used red and black for the rail, like this uh, scheme says. So what would have happened, I guess, if I wired it wrong, I would have powered, when I was testing, I would have powered with DC uh, the wrong terminals in the controller, and it just so happens I would have probably fried it. So, uh, yeah, just a word of uh, caution, you know. Pay attention to the colors, because in my case now, red and black from the controller will actually go to the brown and orange, to the tracks, that is. And, uh, yeah, the other two go to the motor, as they should. So, uh, let's insulate it now, close the lid, and uh, test it. As usual, I test the train in uh, DC mode first with this handy 9 volt battery. Seems to work just fine. So now we're going to close the cab and uh, test it in DCC. So as it turns out, uh, yesterday when I finished the rest of the movies, um, at the end of them I got ambushed by my kid. And when he saw James, I just couldn't um, film anything anymore. So there we are. Um, I built a five loop um, turn and uh, I think I owed you a DCC uh, demonstration. Still using uh, engine driver based on my trusty old Sprogue Raspberry Pi over there. Um, yeah, there are a couple of other trains. As usual, don't hesitate, put in the comments if you want to have a uh, DCC conversion guide of either of them because they've all been DC at some point in their lives. Um, yeah, so the, the subject of our movie today is James, which has been baptized James the Great by my kid. So yeah, let's get it going. And there it is. Just fine. This has been um, a somewhat easy uh, conversion to, to DCC, so um, I welcome you to try it. And uh, yeah, don't hesitate, put some comments, uh, thumbs up if you like it, and uh, again, if you want either of these other locos um, guides to conversion to DCC. Or maybe some other ones, because there must be another couple in, in boxes around here. Then uh, do let me know. Cheers. Talk to you soon.